Radio Sudden Report Serial Number 1, October 1, 1965. In this first newsletter, instead of a report on activity, I want to discuss the significance of what you, my supporters, are doing. Most of us know the Renaissance as a period of great art, promoted and sponsored by wealthy patrons who were the kings, dictators, and rulers of that era. That art was the beautiful icing on the Renaissance era, the heart of it lay elsewhere. For centuries, the church had been the major patron of arts and letters, and the Christian culture had flourished. Emperors and kings very early began to subsidize contemporary thinking with this view. There were clearly religious and philosophical trends pointing towards humanism and statism, but it was the heavy, steady, and long promotion of these things by subsidy that was responsible for the rapid spread and victory of these forces. Europe has been steadily conquered by a rapacious and brutal statism. The Renaissance was a period of showy art, but, behind that facade, it was an era of brutal terror, an era that brought monstrous men to power, some of whom made the Borgias look pale by comparison. Our ages see a similar development. The major and minor foundations have been extensively captured by the forces of humanism and statism, and a new age of terror is developing all around us. Scholarship, arts, and literature are being subsidized to serve the purposes of humanism and statism, and our schools and colleges have been largely captured by these forces, as have been most publishers and periodicals. This movement has been a long time. In developing it cannot be defeated overnight. It cannot be defeated by short-sighted people, who want victory today or tomorrow, and are unwilling to support long-term battle. The future must be won, and shall be won, by a renewal and development of our historic Christian liberty, by an emphasis on the fact the basic government is the self-government of the Christian man, and by a recognition that an informed faith is the mainspring of victory. History has never been dominated by majorities, but only by dedicated minorities, who stand unconditionally on their faith. What you are doing, in your support of me, is to sponsor a countermeasure to the prevailing trend, to promote by your support, interest, and study, a Christian renaissance, to declare by these measures your belief, that the answer to humanism and its statism is Christian faith and liberty. Our choice today is between two claimants to the throne of Godhood and universal government, the state, which claims to be our shepherd, keeper, and savior, and the Holy Trinity, our only God and savior. You have made your choice by both faith and action.